Hello friends, welcome back to Shiji classes and in this video we are going to cover an important topic of cephalosporins. So let's begin. Cephalosporins Introduction It is discovered from a fungal colony in Sardinian sewer water that is from the Cephalosporium acrimonium. Later, the semi-synthetic cephalosporines were derived from the cephalosporine C. Now we will discuss the structure. The nucleus consists of a beta-lactam ring fused to a dihydrothiazine ring that is of 7-amino cephalosporic acid. Now, the dihydrothiazine ring in that by addition of different side chain at the position 3, it affects the pharmacokinetics. And in the beta-lactam ring, by addition of different side chains at position 7, alters the spectrum of activity. And thus, many semi-synthetic compounds were derived later. Now, we will discuss the mechanism of action. It is same like penicillin. It inhibits the bacterial cell wall synthesis and thus shows a bactericidal effect. However, they bind to different PBPs than those which binds the penicillin. The classification is based on first chronological sequence of the development, second antibacterial spectrum and third the susceptibility or resistance to the beta-lactamase. Now we will discuss the mechanism of resistance. It is same as of penicillin resistance that is alteration in the PBPs that is penicillin binding proteins, second impermeability to the antibiotic or its efflux, third and the most common mechanism of resistance is elaboration of beta-lactamases which destroy specific cephalosporines. They are cephalosporinase. It tends to be more resistant than the penicillin to certain beta-lactamase. So in this you have to remember the most common is the elaboration of beta-lactamases which destroy the specific cephalosporine. Okay, so now we will discuss the classification. First generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation and fifth generation cephalosporine. In the first generation, the cephalosporines included are cephalothene, cephradine, cephazoline, cephalaxine and cephadroxyl. In all that, cephalaxine and cephadroxyl are orally given. The second generation cephalosporine are cephachlor, cefuroxine, cephamycines like cefotitan, cefoxetine and cefametazole. Cefuroxam exetyl, cefamandol and cefprozil are also included. In all that, the cephachlor, cefuroxime exetyl and cefprozil are orally given. The third generation cephalosporine includes cefexine, cefdinar, ceftibutane, ceftriaxone, cefopirazone, cefotexime, ceftazidine, cefpodoxime proxetyl, ceftizoxime and ceftamate pivoxyl. In all that, the ceftriaxone, cefopirazone, cefotexime, ceftazidine and ceftizoxime are given parentarily. The fourth generation cephalosporine includes cefepirome and cefepine. The fifth generation cephalosporine includes ceftaroline fosamil and ceftobiprol medocaril. Now we will discuss the antimicrobial spectrum of the cephalosporines. The first generation Cephalosporines are active against mainly the gram-positive organisms like Staph aureus, Staph epidermidis, Strep pneumoniae, Strep pyogenes and anaerobic Streptococci and except MRSA and Bacteroides fragilis. They are also active against the gram-negative organism like Proteus, E. coli, Moraxella catarrhalis, Klebsiella and H. influenzae. The second generation cephalosporine are having high activity against the gram-negative organism like H. influenzae, Enterobacter species, Neisseria species, Proteus, E. coli, Klebsiella and only the cephamycin group of the second generation cephalosporine are having the activity on the anaerobes like Bacteroides fragilis. They are having the weaker activity against the gram-positive organism like Strep pneumoniae, Strep pyogenes and anaerobic Streptococci. 
Now we will discuss the antimicrobial spectrum of the third generation cephalosporin. They are having high activity against the gram-negative organism like H. influenzae, Enterobacter, E. coli, Neisseria species, Proteus, Pseudomonas, Orogenosa, Klebsiella, and Salmonella. They are having less activity against the anaerobes like Bacteroides fragilis. Now we will discuss the fourth generation cephalosporin. They are active against many Enterobacteriaceae that are resistant to cephalosporins. They are having enhanced activity against the gram-negative organism like Pseudomonas and Klebsiella. They are not active against MRSA, Legionella, Listeria, Clostridium, Difficile, Acinetobacteria, Enterococci, MAC and MTB. Now we will see the fifth generation cephalosporin. They are the only beta-lactam active against the MRSA. They kill the MRSA and some other bacteria which developed penicillin resistance by producing altered PBPs. Here many of the organisms are written, but you have to learn only the underlined words. That is, in the first generation they are having the main activity on the gram-positive organisms and also having the some activity against gram-negative organisms. In the second generation cephalosporin, they are having the high activity against the gram-negative organism and also having the activity against the anaerobes, that is, especially the cephamycin group. In the third generation cephalosporin, they are having high activity against the gram-negative organism. In the fourth generation cephalosporin, they are having high activity against the Enterobacteriaceae family and also having high activity against the gram-negative organism, especially Pseudomonas. The fifth generation cephalosporin are the only beta-lactam active against the MRSA. Next point, beta-lactamase enzyme. From the first generation, cephazoline is highly susceptible to staphylococcal beta-lactamases. From the second generation, cefoxetine and cefuroxime are resistant to beta-lactamases produced by gram-negative organism. From the third generation cephalosporin, most of them are resistant to most of the beta-lactamases except cefoperazole. From the fourth generation cephalosporin, they are resistant to inducible chromosomal beta-lactamases. Cefpirome inhibits the type 1 beta-lactamase producing Enterobacteriaceae. Now we will move to specific drugs of all the cephalosporins. From the first generation, cefazoline is given IM or IV. It is the prototype drug. Thf is 2R, attains high concentration in the bile and in the plasma. Use is mainly surgical prophylaxis, including orthopedic surgery because its ability to penetrate the bone. Next, cephalexine. It is orally given, less active against penicillinase producing staphylococci and H. influenzae. Plasma protein binding is low. It is having high concentration in the bile, T half is 60 minute and excreted unchanged in the urine. Next, cephadroxyl. It is a close congener of cephalexine. It is having good tissue penetration, hence can be given 12 hourly despite the T half of 1 hour. It is excreted unchanged in the urine. Dose reduction needed only if the creatinine clearance is less than 50 ml per minute. Now we will move to second generation cephalosporin. The cefuroxine has high activity against the PPNG and ampicillin resistant H. influenzae. It is given intramuscularly. Higher CSF levels are attained with this. Use is single dose intramuscular therapy of gonorrhea due to PPNG. Next, cefuroxime exited. It is the ester of cefuroxime effective orally and activity depends on on the in vivo hydrolysis and the release of cefuroxime. Next, cefaclor. It is given orally, more active than the first generation against H. influenzae, E. coli, and Proteus mirabilis. Cefproxil. The T half is 1.3 hour. It is having good oral absorption, more than 90% use in bronchitis, ENT, and skin infections. The cefamandol drug is the prototype one. Next, from the third generation cephalosporin, cefotoxime. The indications are meningitis caused by gram-negative bacilli, life-threatening resistant or hospital-acquired infection, septicemias, 
and infections in the immunocompromised patients. It is given alternatively to the ceftriaxone for typhoid fever and as a single dose therapy of PPNG urethritis and it is not dependable for pseudomonas actions. Pharmacokinetic Deacetylated in the body, metabolites exerts weaker but synergistic action. T half is 1 hour but it is longer for deacetylated metabolite, permitting 12 hourly dose in many situations. Ceftizoxine, the T half is 1.5 to 2 hour and it inhibits bacteroidus fragilis also. Now we will move to our most important topic that is ceftriaxone. This is the most important drug and you have to remember all and each of the lines. First of all pharmacokinetic. It is having the T half of 8 hour hence once daily dosing is given. It is having good tissue penetration including the CSF. They are safe in renal failure and bile elimination is there. Use Empirical therapy is of ceftriaxone and vancomycin. In less than 3 month or more than 50 year meningitis or due to listeria organism then the empirical therapy should include ampicillin along with ceftriaxone and vancomycin. Next, typhoid fever. If it is drug sensitive, then give fluoroquinolone, ciprofloxacin. And if it is drug resistant, then give ceftriaxone or azithromycin. Empirical therapy. Ceftriaxone is used, especially in the children. Third, complicated UTI. Fourth, abdominal sepsis and septicemias. Fifth, gonorrhea. And sixth, chancroid. They are given single 1 gram intramuscular dose. Azithromycin can also be used. Seventh, alternative drug for syphilis. 1 gram intramuscularly for 7 days in early syphilis and 1 gram intramuscularly for 15 days in late syphilis. Adverse effects are hypoprothrombinemia and bleeding. Hemolysis can also occur. Now we will move to our next drug, ceftazidim. It is having anti-pseudomonal action. It is having high activity against the pseudomonas aeruginosa. Hence it is called the anti-pseudomonal drug. Indications are febrile neutropenic patients with hematological manifestations. And also in the burn it can be used. Pharmacokinetic. T half is 1.5 to 1.8 hours. Adverse effects are neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, rise in plasma transaminases and blood urea is reported. Next, cefoperazone. It is the prototype drug. It acts on pseudomonas. Indications are severe urinary, biliary, respiratory, skin and soft tissue infections, typhoid as well as septicemias. Pharmacokinetic, it is having the bile elimination, hence safe in renal failure. T half is 2 hours. Till now we have discussed two drugs which are having the anti-pseudomonal action. They are ceftazidim and cefoperazone. And two drugs which are safe in renal failure. They are cefoperazone and ceftriaxone. These are important. Next, adverse effects of cefoperazone. They are hypoprothrombinemia and disulfiram-like reaction. The disulfiram-like reaction have been explained in my previous video. Next, cefixide. It is given orally. T half is 3 hour dose, 200 to 400 mg BD, that is twice a day. Use respiratory, urinary and biliary tract infection. Side effects are diarrhea, stool changes. Next, cefpodoxime proxetyl. It is given orally. It is an Easter product and use are in respiratory, urinary, skin and soft tissue infections. It inhibits Staph aureus. Next, Cefdinar. It is given orally, use in, in pneumonia, acute exacerbations of chronic bronchitis, ENT and skin infections. Ceftibutin. It is given orally, T half is 2 to 3 hour, use respiratory and ENT infections. Ceftamate pivoxyl. It is an Easter product of ceftamate. It is having high activity against the gram-negative organism like Enterobacteriaceae and Neisseria gonorrhea. Use in respiratory skin and soft tissue infections. Now we will discuss the 4th generation cephalosporine. 
they are cephepime and cephepirum here i have drawn a table first of all use cephepime is used in the hospital acquired pneumonia febrile neutropenia bacteremia and septicemia cephepime is the prototype drug tf is 2 hour dose 1 to 2 g iv 8 to 12 hourly and it crosses the blood brain barrier next cefepirum use serious and resistant hospital acquired infection like septicemia lower respiratory tract infections etc next pharmacokinetic its zwitter ion character permits better penetration through porin channels of gram negative bacteria the zwitter ion character is important of cefepirum here also i have drawn a table of ceftaroli infosamil and ceftovaprol medocaril first of all they are rapidly converted to the active metabolite because they are the pro drugs to ceftaroline by the phosphatase and ceftovaprol by type a esterases ceftaroline infosamil it binds to pbp2a in the mrsa and pbp2b and pbp2x in the penicillin resistant strep pneumonia here also ceftovaprol binds to pbp2a in the mrsa and pbp2b and pbp2x in the psrp that is penicillin resistant strep pneumonia and also it all binds to pbp5 in resistant enterococcus faecalis and thus interferes with the transpeptidation step of bacterial cell wall synthesis and exerts the lethal effect hence they are called the bactericidal drugs Tf is 2.6 hour in of ceftaroline and Tf is 3 hour of ceftovaprol. The dose is 600 mg infused IV over 60 minutes every 12 hourly for 5 to 14 days. The dose of ceftovaprol medocaril is 500 mg infused IV over 2 hour every 8 hourly. Next adverse effects. Headache, dizziness, itching, rashes, fever, diarrhea, and irritation of the injected vein. The adverse effect of ceftobiprol medocaril is nausea, diarrhea, infusion site reaction, rise in hepatic transaminases, and hyponatremia. They are approved by CDSCO India in 2016 for the use in the complicated skin and soft tissue infection. CAP caused by MRSA, resistant strep, etc. The ceftobiprol medocaril is approved in the UA and in the Canada as the monotherapy of HEP, excluding the VEP and severe CAP. The VAP stands for ventilator associated pneumonia. The CDSCO stands for Central Drug Standard Control Organization. In the viva, it is asked. The adverse effects of overall cephalosporins are written here. First of all, pain after the intramuscular injection, mainly of cephaloridine. Next, diarrhea. It is most common with orally administered compounds like cephalexin and cefexime and also parenteral cefoperazone. The parenteral cefoperazone causes diarrhea as it is largely excreted in the bile. Hypersensitivity reaction is the most common adverse effect of cephalosporins. Skin rashes, urticaria and anaphylaxis can be seen. A positive Coombs test occur in many patients. Next, nephrotoxicity. Cephaloridine in doses more than 4 gram per day causes nephrotoxicity. And cephalothene with gentamicin can also cause nephrotoxicity. Neutropenia and thrombocytopenia is seen with ceftazidine. Antibiotic associated colitis is the most severe problem associated with the cephalosporins. Bile stones or pseudolithiasis is seen with ceftriaxone. Intolerance to the alcohol that is disulfiram like the reaction has been reported with cefotitan, cefamandol, cefoperazone and moxalactam. Because they are having the MTT group, that is the methyl thiotetrazole group. Severe bleeding can occur due to hypoprothembinemia, thrombocytopenia, platelet dysfunction, especially in the patients with the renal failure, intraabdominal infection, or cancer. 
सेफ्ट्राइक्सोन एंड सेफोपेरोजोन आर कॉमन नेक्स्ट फार्मेकोकाइनेटिक्स दे आर एडमिनिस्टर्ड इंट्रावेनसली एंड इंटरमस्क्यूलरली वेल डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन द बॉडी थर्ड जनरेशन कैन क्रॉस द ब्लड मेन बैरियर एंड अचीव थेरापूटिक लेवल इन सी एस एफ दे कैन क्रॉस द प्लेसेंटा एलिमिनेशन अकर्स मेनली थ्रू ट्यूबुलर सिक्रीशन और ग्लोमेरुलर फिल्ट्रेशन दे आर हैविंग वाइट थेरापूटिक इंडेक्स सेफ इन प्रेगनेंसी मोस्टली अनचेंज ड्रग अपीयर्स इन द यूरिन एंड सेफ्ट्राइक्सोन इज एक्सक्रीटेड थ्रू बाई नाउ यर टेबल इज ड्रॉन ऑफ द यूज एंड द ड्रग First, in the surgical profile axis, cefazolin is used. This is most important. Skin and soft tissue infections due to strep pyogenes and staph aureus. First generation cephalosporin can be used. In bacterial pharyngitis and otitis media, cefalexin cefadroxil is used. Fourth, in the ENT, URTI and cutaneous infections, first generation alternative to penicillin can be preferred. fifth respiratory tract infections like otitis media sinusitis prsp the cefuroxam acetyl can be used sixth peritonitis intraabdominal and pelvic infection diabetic foot infection cefoxitan and cefotitan can be used colorectal surgery where the prophylaxis for intestinal anaerobes is used there cefotitan and cefoxitin can be used next gonorrhea due to ppng cefuroxam is preferred in bronchitis ent and skin infections cefprozil is preferred next 10th neonatal or childhood meningitis caused by h influenzae ceftriaxone or cefotoxime can be used 11th pseudomonas meningitis ceftazidime and gentamicin is preferred 12th respiratory urinary and soft tissue infections caused by gram negative organisms like klebsiella enterobacter haemophilus species proteus serratia cefuroxime cefotoxime and ceftriaxone are preferred the third generation cephalosporins are the drug of choice for this 13th gonorrhea all forms of gonorrhea can be treated with ceftriaxone they are the drug of choice here in chancroid syphilis pyelonephritis CAP nosocomial infection and septicemia ceftriaxone is preferred in the mixed aerobic and anaerobic infection in the cancer patients third generation cefalosporin or cefaclor or cefuroxime can be preferred next in the typhoid fever fastest acting and most reliable drugs are ceftriaxone and cefoperazone the advantages are quick defervescence in 2 to 3 days early abatement of symptoms low risk of relapse and complications and prevention of the career state next in the prophylaxis and treatment of infections in the neutropenic patients ceftazidime along with aminoglycoside can be preferred next in nosocomial infections as the empirical therapy fourth generation cephalosporins are used next in the hospital acquired infections in the icu cefotoxime ceftriaxime and fourth generation along with vancomycin and alternatively ceftobiprol medocaril can be used next cap due to penicillin resistant strep pneumonia ceftaronil fosamil can be used hep ceftobiprol medocaril is the drug in complicated skin and soft tissue infections due to mrsa ceftaronil fosamil is used so how's the video let me know in the comment section Thanks for watching my video and if you found it helpful then please like share and subscribe thanks for watching